Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to take another look at a Moto Madness compilation. This is like from four years ago. This is Stupid, Crazy, and Angry People First Bikers, Bikers in Trouble, episode number seven. Let's have a look and see what's about to occur. It looks like we're on the interstate, we're stopped, we're off the bike for some reason, and... It looks like it's in California by both of those plates and people, he's out of the vehicle. Let's see what's gonna happen. You no! Know? You wanna fucking go? Let's go then, bitch! <laughs> Let's go! Swing it, motherfucker! Swing it, bitch! <laughs> Swing it, I'll knock you the fuck out! Swing that shit right now, bitch! Swing that shit! <laughs> well, if, if you get off and you're kind of scared, if you're crazier than the other person, and even if that person's somewhat crazy, they will tend to be like, I'm out of here because no one wants to mess with a crazy person. So <laughs> that's a good way about handling it. Unless the rider is truly crazy. I, I don't know. Oh, well, let's go have a look here. In cars. Oh, quite fast to Thinking be lame splitting. that you can run your fucking mouth to a guy on a bike well i have all my gear on please i would love to beat your ass whoa whoa just because you have gear on doesn't mean your ass still can't be kicked they act like they're protected well because you have a helmet all i have to do is grab that helmet and i can like drag you all around the street you're going to follow where your neck is being pulled to, so eh, not, having the gear is not protection. And here you go. Fuck you, it's red. It's a red light. Where are you going to go? It's a red light! What are you rushing to? You rushing to fucking wait? Shut the fuck up! You want your fucking ass beat right now, bitch? <laughs> I don't know, this rider out. could be crazy. You getting out? You wanna fucking go? Let's go then, bitch! Let's go! Swing it, motherfucker! Swing it, bitch! Swing it, I'll knock you the fuck out! Swing that shit right now, bitch! I think the rider is truly crazy. I mean, he was talking about looking for a fight. Swing so. that shit! That's what I thought, bitch! Yeah, I think the rider was truly crazy. I mean, he was looking for a fight. The fuck's his problem? He didn't do shit, dude. Oh, don't no fucking off. running me off the fucking road. Running you off the road, the semi over fucking asshole. This fucking truck over fuck. We're missing context here of like what just occurred. Get the fuck back on your bike. Stop right now. Then fucking stop pushing me, bitch. Get on that fucking bike or I'm calling the we'll call the cops stop pushing me you know what are you gonna fucking, fucking stop here. pushing me there's a lot of assault going on here and we don't have context of what's going on obviously it really ticked off the people of the minivan but the rider did approach the minivan so what is going on hey are you listening to that fucking truck over corrected and almost got you he almost hit me you fucking damaged that car, now you're gonna stick around and you're gonna pay for the damage. Oh, I hit it, huh? Call the car. Huh? Call the car. Huh? I fucking hit it, huh? Didn't I? Yeah, you did. Oh, I did oh, win. Right now. Because I got a fucking dash cam right here. I got it all on fucking video. Good. Good. You're looking for it. You stopped three times. Good, because already. I'm suing you guys for fucking harassing me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sounds like a kid talking here. Suing for what? For assault and battery? Well, I don't know. Why were you approaching the van? When this whole video started, when you edited it out and made it seem like you're in the right, why are you approaching the van? You know what? You, oh, on good. Air, you hit the fucking car, and that's on your dash cam, too. Oh, oh yeah. It is I on your dash cam, car. smart guy. I hit the fucking car, right? You did huh? hit the car. 
No, I didn't. You did. You did. It's yeah, on you your did. Camera, dumbass. No. Nope. Yeah, you did. It's on your camera. <laughs> you guys are fucking stupid. No. If I would have hit that. <sighs> that would have fucking stopped. Fuck. Are you fucking dumb? Huh? Oh, bitch, get the fuck off me. If I would have fucking hit them, they would have fucking stopped. Go ahead. No, not yet. He's, he's you want to. Right now. And I'm no, I don't want to fucking hit you. You stop three times. It's on your dash cam, smart guy. No. Stop three times. There's something more going on here, and this rider cut it out. Obviously, a lot more is going on. These bike wouldn't be stopped there. They wouldn't be stopped there. Sign about a truck almost hit him, almost hit the van. He might have hit the van, even if it's just a little technically hey and then he what we see is he approached the van so why was he approaching the van we don't know we're, we're missing context here so it's hard to side with the rider in this because he left out a bunch of uh, uh stuff and you know he didn't want to show what what he did you do is it illegal to stop on a fucking road yeah it is is it huh yeah, it is oh, especially it is. when you run up to the car since when car. is it fucking illegal got the Yes, actually, it is illegal to just stop clearly in the road. And now we get a little bit more picture. The guy says he ran up to the vehicle. He was up, and that's where we got started. He came up to the vehicle. Who knows what he was saying that before we see the video, right? He could have been making death threats. We don't, we don't know. Maybe this, I'm assuming this guy's son or whatever in the black got out. That's why he was like, hey, just push him away, like, Get away, get away, you know. By the way, you're illegally occupying a lane. You got the cops coming. Oh, look at that. Oh. No, no. If a wreck did occur, an accident happened, then he's not illegally occupying any lane. This rider is, like, totally clueless. Oh, oh you he see this, huh? You see that, huh? Yeah, I do. Got the fuck away from that guy. DZ6680. Good. Come on, you want to fucking start something? You touch me again, I'll knock your fucking ass off. How about you stop? Yo, why was the rider trying to hide his plate? What does he have to worry if he thinks he's in the right? Rider's totally, I'm going to say the rider was totally in the wrong. People don't typically, they can, they can, but they don't typically, you know, just come at you for no reason. Fucking We're missing a lot to this video. I'm thinking this rider oh, is. Yeah, woo. Just take his key if the key's still you in. You got it, huh? It, DZ6618. That's right. Well, why were you trying to hide the plate? That's just so suspicious. Why were you trying to hide the plate? It was as if you were going to flee. I would say the guy can use appropriate force to kind of keep you there. Because he's saying you hit him. Now, whether that's true or not doesn't matter. He believes you did. He believes you're part of this, I'm going to assume, an accident that occurred. So, he probably could push you and keep you away. He needs the plate. He needs to identify you. I, you know, I don't know. I, I think this kid riding is probably uh, at fault here for something. And he edited it out to make it look like he was in the right. Makes great YouTube, you know? Oh, oh, yeah. how about you fucking tell him to hurry the fuck up? Hey, fuck off, prick! Oh! The guy in the black totally, like, <laughs> didn't really beat him up, but, I mean, the, the rider definitely did not uh, put up much resistance, and, you know, now he's trying to act like the tough guy because his adrenaline's going. <laughs> You're not tough. Is he just going to get back on the bike? See, I would have taken the key. Oh, I am following you, Sam. I want to tell him where to go. Yeah, there was a lot more of that. I think the rider was probably at fault. He was just trying to cover up by 
editing the video to act like he did not do anything. We didn't get anything leading up to it. We didn't get why he approached the van in the first place. We got more from what the conversation of the old guy back to him of what occurred. Yeah, I think the rider was at fault. Anyways, let's take a look at this one. You coming out to beat my ass or something? What? You coming out to beat my ass or something? No, I'm just telling you, it's dirty through here and an old man backs out right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm under control, buddy. This guy had, came out with, like, yeah, obviously to do something, but I don't know if there's enough to go on to, where you could report him, but. Are you the motherfucker that was last year trying to hit me with your truck? Yeah. No, it wasn't you? Yeah, yeah I think it was. You and your old lady around here, you were in your fucking truck. Why don't you swing on me? Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> What type of motorcycle are we on? Dirt bike? Yeah, dirt bike, okay. Dual sport, probably. Uh, I don't know, did you need a pass? Uh, it was hard to judge the speed that they were going. Couldn't tell if you're allowed to pass or not. Get what on camera? He just passed you. <laughs> What's up? And a second. What's up, sir? From who? From a headmate. I'm going to record. I'm going to record and record, mate, bud. I don't know. Is it an offense if you're capturing somebody doing something illegal and you're not really using a phone, you're using a camera? What if it was just a point and shoot camera? Is thus that is an offense because then it's not a phone? Or, I mean, that's okay because it's not a phone? How about a GPS? Are you allowed to use a dedicated GPS, but you can't use a phone as a GPS? The technicalities of that whole cell phone thing is odd to me. I mean, you could be playing with the radio navigation on your car system. That's a fancy car. He probably has built-in navigation. You could be playing with any of that. That would be okay. But you cannot play with your navigation on your phone because it's a phone. Well, maybe it's not a phone. Maybe it's a GPS unit. Maybe it's a radio. Maybe, in this case, it's a camera. It's not a phone. And I would think a lot of areas would say, hey, you're, you're trying to capture a plate, a person, because they're doing something illegal. So you're not using a phone. You're using a camera. I don't know. You're not Just saying. I don't know, over there in the UK or Australia, they all seem to get really angry about phones and this. But, I mean, it is a technicality, and I would, hey, leave a comment down below. I mean, what is the rule of phone usage, especially in the UK, Australia, those places? Because they seem to really take it seriously as far as telling people, you're using your phone, you're, you're going to get in trouble. Well, maybe what I caught on my phone, which I was using as a camera, means you get a ticket and I'm more than happy to take the hundred dollar or whatever the fine is over there ticket for using my phone which then I'll take to court and say I wasn't using the phone your honor I was using as a camera to catch the acts that they were doing so I would have proof it's not a phone it's a camera in this case I'm not talking to anyone I'm not calling anyone and I do believe you're also allowed to use your phone to call 
at least in the U.S., 911, emergencies, such as <laughs> things like that. So you can pick up your phone and use it in certain circumstances, and it might not be a phone in that circumstance. I don't know. Anyways, leave your belief, your comment down below what you think, or, you know, you're just Joe Blow, so I don't know if you're correct, but hey, I would like to hear what you have to say about that. Anyways, have a good one. Bye.